Hi everyone, welcome to Dad Makes Things. Today, I'm going to be taking this ax that has been laying around in my backyard forever. Um, I've just never really used it because it looks too old and I'm worried if I started swinging it around that it would uh, fly off and it could be very dangerous. But I've decided to take this ax and I'm going to be restoring it and into something that's a little bit more usable. So, this is it right now. The handle is especially in bad order. Uh, the metal, I'm sure, can be salvaged pretty easily. So I will be taking the <coughs> axe head off um, and then restoring that and then making a new handle for it. So if you like joining along, let's do it. Yeah, I've never taken the <clears throat> head on an axe off of an axe handle before, so I'm just going to wing this. I haven't looked it up. I don't know really what I'm doing. My plan is to take this drill and uh, at the top here and kind of drill this out so it re releases some of the pressure and then I can just slide it off. If this works, that means you're seeing this. Okay. After a little bit of work, I got the axe head off. I'm not going to lie, it was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I got that little wedge out. So now we're ready to go into the next part of getting this all nice, cleaned up, and then getting a new handle on it. Okay, so I have random pieces of hardwood that have been laying around that have just accumulated over the years. Um, recently, one of my neighbors dropped off a whole bunch of uh, hardwood that wasn't being used. So uh, this is one of those pieces of hardwood. Um, I have just taken the handle and roughly measured it out uh, and cut it down to size. So now what I'm gonna do is take this and just kind of outline shape this handle is going to be in. So I'll take this. After I've done outlining this, I'll take it to the bandsaw and try to cut a clean bandsaw. I'm going to leave the top up here a little bit, I don't know, wider than necessary because I want it to fit perfectly inside here. So uh, I'm going to leave it a little wider so I have some room to make it fit just perfectly. You can always take off more, can't uh, add more to it. So I'm going to go ahead and all right, good, let's cut it on the bandsaw.
Hi everyone, I'm going to be putting a, a little bit of a wood sealer, the tongue oil finish on the handle now, getting close to being done. Uh, I think I might have sharpened the axe just a little bit too much. I barely touched it and I already cut my finger just on the really sharp blade of this, so um, the blade is sharp. Uh, anyway, let's get to putting some of this oil on the handle, finishing the handle. All right, so there you have it. Finished with the uh, restoration of this ax. I um, cut this hardwood out of a plank and um, gave it a nice rough handle so it grips really well. Um, took the, the head of it, got all the rust off of it, left a nice kind of rough look, and then at the very tip, got some very, very sharp uh, edges. In fact, it's so sharp, I cut my finger on it just nicking it a little bit so maybe it's a little sharper than it needs to be here's a piece of paper that's pretty pretty good so the knife the um, axe is sharpened very very well it's all done i put the uh the wedge in the top uh, it's all ready to, to be to go out and use um <clears throat> it's a really nice axe should work great. Um, so yeah, here's one axe restoration that's all finished. Um, if you like what I'm doing, so please consider subscribing. And um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. This was a fun project. Dad makes things out.